Hi guys, Bradley from BRAD TV. Before I go into what I want to talk about today, I should tell you a quick story about this chair. I was wandering around and I saw it, I thought, oh, that was quite nice, I could sit down and shoot the video there. And there's a little bit of paper stuck into one of the cracks, and I took it out and read it. There's a bit of poem, some nice positive words on there, someone has written and put in there. So I put it back in so somebody else can enjoy it. And then just notice next to it a nice little love heart, a Danny loves cock. Um, call this number for so and so. So yeah, swings and roundabouts really, but I just thought I'd sit here, do the video, it looks quite nice, yeah. Today I want to talk about dealing with guilt, shame and regret. So I guess all different sort of descriptions, but it all means the same thing. You've done something or you didn't do something in the past and it's causing you pain in the present. You are not an infallible machine. You are not this perfect being. You're just a human. You're, you're a clever animal. That's all we are. So you're going to make mistakes, and some of those mistakes are going to cause other people pain. They might cause you pain. It's going to make you feel bad. It will. But get that initial feeling, experience that, and then let it go. If it comes back to you, just have it as a thought. Let it be, but don't give any energy to it. You can't hear in the present, but you get direction from bad things that happened in the past. You make your decisions, you do your things, and you have to move on. The thing you did or didn't do is behind you. It's in the past. On your path of life, you walk, 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 there you go, big boulder appears, you manage to walk around it, and then you keep walking, you keep going, and that stays behind you. It doesn't appear in front of you again and affect the path. It stays where it is. Yeah, little analogy. I've found a great help to alleviate some of the pressure if you're feeling guilty or shameful about something you've done in regards to people. An interaction didn't go the way you want, you got drunk and made a mistake, something, oh, I don't know, something horrible, you said something out of character and it's playing on your mind. Just go talk to them about it. As awkward as you might feel, it might be the most uncomfortable social situation you've ever been in. But just go talk to them about it. There's no ego to consider about worrying about not looking like the big man. Talking will get so much off your chest. Just get everything out in the open, go up to them, lay all your cards on the table, apologise, explain yourself, try and make the best out of a bad situation. You did something wrong, either accidentally or on purpose. Just go up to them, let everything out. You've done the best you can, even if they throw it back at you, they swear at you, they're aggressive, they just don't want to hear anything of it. It doesn't matter. That will just get so much pressure. It'll feel like a weight has been lifted because you know you've done the best. That is just a simple technique and that will really help you dealing with people. Even as cheesy and silly as it might be, get somebody chocolates. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. They'll just be so shocked you've turned around and got them a box of chocolates. What? Even they'll think it's weird. It doesn't matter. Just try and make it better. It's that trying. It's that little bit of trying that is going to leave her open the tension and the horrid feeling you're getting. I'll give you just an example of how that silly little technique just really helped me. And it's just learning by trial and error. No, no one told me that. I guess it's, you might have meant to learn it growing up or just not make silly mistakes in the first place. But say just over a year ago then I'm in a bad way going out all the time partying drinking all the time and I'm out in central London uh, me and a friend we get into a nice swanky bar because our friend gets us in on the guest list he works there so we get into this place having a good time he's giving us free drinks free drinks all the time and somehow something turns bad and I don't I don't remember and I start shouting with our friend who's got us into this bar and then it's time we start pushing each other and I spat in his face. I spat in his face. What? What? What did you do, Bradley? That crazy. I've I've never done that in my life before then. I obviously haven't done it since then. I'm not gonna blame it on the drink, I'm a grown-up. That's just absolutely ridiculous. After that, I felt awful. Even though I was in a bad way, that wasn't the person I was. That's never the sort of person I was. It's not the sort of person I wanted to become. It's not the person I am now. I had no idea how I was going to speak to him again. I wanted to apologise. I didn't know what to do. 
I didn't have much money. I got a can of beer, I think a bag of crisps, and a scratch card. Yeah, and I put it in a bag, and the next time I saw him, I knew he was coming to our flat or something to stay with a friend. So I was going to be away, so I left that there for him just as a little gift. And then I came back, he'd left a note for me, saying that a little thing goes a long way, thanks man, I can't wait to see you again. And I saw him that evening, I apologised, got everything out there, and then our relationship was better than ever. And like just that morning, I was, I wanted, oh, I'd never felt that horrible, I probably had, yeah, but I just, it was such a horrible, horrible feeling. And then by the evening, it was the most positive feeling I'd ever felt towards this guy. Just ridiculous. So know that that guilt, that shame can just disappear. It can not only disappear, it can turn golden and bright and positive and go inside you and make you glow and it will make your relationships glow and get stronger and better. Let's not get too far out with this one. <laughs> Now, lots of guilt, shame, regret is often felt the morning after a big night out, especially if you get so drunk that you don't remember what you did. You don't know what you did, you don't want to know what you did. If that's you, if you're watching this on YouTube right now, you feel awful, you feel hungover. I am with you, man. I have been there. It is horrible. And Facebook as well, if you've done stuff on there, you could even check in the morning. That'll be horrible for you. But you did it. Guess what, you're human. You made a mistake. You're not in hospital. You haven't broken a leg. You're not in jail. You haven't hurt anybody. That's really positive. You're alive, you're in your room. So you said something inappropriate to a workmate. You'll have to deal with that issue later. It'll be an awkward social situation, like I said. Don't let that affect you from now, in the present and in the future. Of course you've got to think about what you've done and work on that, but don't get bogged down torturing yourself with something silly like that. If you're feeling overwhelmed right now, hungover or, or not, open the curtains. Even if it's raining, open the curtains, get some natural light in. If you're watching this, you're on YouTube, look for the sound of rain or the sound of water. Um, water on a tent, like wind, underwater sounds, dolphin noise, anything relaxing. Take some deep breaths, put your head up, your chest up high. Get it out of you, woo! That feels good man, you'll physically feel good. I feel like I'm only addressing silly little issues here, but big issues. You hurt somebody close to you, you steal something, you do something wrong, and it's because of conscious decisions you have made, not anything you've done by accident. You decided to do something that you know is wrong, but you did it anyway. Yeah. Now that's a bad one, that's going to give you a lot of guilt, a lot of shame, and a lot of regret. The best way to get rid of that is to just know that it was wrong and know that you are not going to do that again. Just know. The second you make that decision, all you've got to do is decide. Make that decision. You're not going to do that again. And then suddenly, If you make that decision and know that you're going to work on yourself, all that guilt and shame and regret is going to be replaced by positive energy. You're going to feel so good about yourself. You can put that into everything to do. People will notice it when they talk to you. Everyone's reaction to you will change. The results you're getting from everything will change. The responses you get will change for the positive. This mistake will turn into one of the best things maybe that's happened to you. It doesn't mean, it doesn't make it right, if you do something really bad, it doesn't make it right and okay. This sort of thinking doesn't justify you in doing bad things either. You can't use this as an excuse, okay? The things that you did or didn't do that caused you the guilt, shame, regret, don't have them as physical memories to experience in your head. Don't have them as places to visit, to torture yourself and dwell and keep repeating things. Have them as 
emotionless bullet points on a chart of how you're going to become a better person. That's all. They are there. Let them be. You're aware of them. You are not going to do that again. You are going to try your utmost to work on yourself and not repeat these bullet points that you are not allowed to do again. And take strength from that. Be proud of yourself and feel happy that you're going to do that. With guilt, shame, regret, as with most negative feelings and emotions, meditation helps. Exercise helps. Eating healthy. Healthy mind, healthy body, think, cleanse. All of that will just fall and strip away. Even though I'm saying all this, I know I'm going to feel guilty about something in the near future. I'm going to do something or say something. I might have the intentions of making a joke. I might have the intentions of entertaining somebody. It may be something I don't do in the future. I neglect a relationship or I get lazy so don't do something for somebody. I might feel a bit guilty about that. Then I'll have to try something positive with that person to counter it that whatever it is I'm going to try and make up for that I can feel good as soon as I feel that guilt I can make myself feel good because I know I'm going to do the best I can to make that negative situation into a positive situation Bradley you did not do the best that Bradley should have in that situation you were a bad human being. But then as soon as that little bit comes in, I can make myself feel good because I know I'm gonna try and sort it out. This of course is applying to anything where you accidentally make someone feel bad. But I guess that if you were trying to make someone feel bad on purpose, you wouldn't feel the guilt and shame because you're sick and you get pleasure from causing people pain. So that's, that's different. What if you caused somebody pain on purpose? What if at some point in your life you got pleasure from the misery of others? How now in your life do you deal with that? I think in exactly the same way. You would have to know that you're not going to do that again. Of course accept that it's wrong. But for your well-being and your life, you have got to stop beating yourself up and all of that energy only focus on becoming better. All of the energy you're using to torture yourself should be used to help yourself and other people. Think about what you can do. Your intuition is probably going to be right. The first thing you can think of to try and make up for that bad thing or bad things is probably going to be the simplest thing. It's probably going to be the right thing. You'll feel better, other people will feel better. Hopefully together, all together, we can turn this horrid world around. So to sum up, guys, you did something wrong, you feel awful, stop feeling awful. Stop using that energy to hurt yourself. Feel good knowing that you're not going to do that again. You made that mistake so you could learn from it. You're going to become better, people are going to see that, you're going to feel that, your whole entire reality is going to shift and change for the better and you're going to get more positive. You can feel that positivity right now. It's going to be tough, you're going to have these awkward social situations afterwards dealing with things, but you can feel good right now knowing that you're going to be better. I know you can do it guys, I want you to do it. Feel good about yourself right now. Have an awesome day, I'll see you again soon, and be rad.